I'm Richard Surser from Tucson, Arizona. At Berkshire, what counts most are increases in our normalized per share earning power. And that was in our la your last letter. What is our normalized per share earning power, as you estimate it? Well, I would say that what you saw in the first quarter under these tax rates would probably be a, a reasonable guess. Uh, you know, obviously it depends on the economy in any given year. I would say that would is a, a, a reasonable estimate, but we have firepower we haven't used, and we'll have more firepower as we go along. So we do expect that normalized earning power to increase over the, over time. And if if it doesn't, you know, one way or another, we're failing you because we're retaining those earnings. So uh, I don't see anything abnormal in our earnings figured now at a 21% federal rate. But as I look at the five and a quarter billion in the first quarter, seasonally insurance is better in the first quarter, but seasonally most of our businesses, the first quarter is not the strongest quarter for us. I, I don't see anything abnormal in it. And then I think you can expect, you should expect, we expect substantial capital gains over time in addition to what comes from the operating businesses. So how much you figure in for that? Uh, I would say that the, the retained earnings beyond dividends of our 770 billion of equities, in other words, how much they are keeping from us, but that our share of the earnings, which can be used by them, whether it's Apple or American Express or Coca-Cola or, or Wells Fargo or whatever, I, our share, you know, is, is in many billions of dollars annually. And one way or another, we think that those dollars will benefit us as much as if they'd been paid out. Now, in certain cases, they won't, but in certain cases, they'll, they'll excel the amount uh, in terms of market value created. So there's many billions of dollars we are not showing in our earnings that is being retained by the, our investees and in one way or another, I think we'll get value received out of those. So you can take 20 or 21 billion under present tax rates, present economic conditions, and uh, and then we should get something from that, and we should get more when we get we get 100 billion of cash invested, and we should get more as we retain earnings. So we hope it adds up to a bigger number as we go along. Charlie. <laughs> well, I don't think our shareholders are going to see another increase in net worth of $65 billion in a single year. They may have to wait a while for another. But I don't think that, I think eventually there another will come and then another. Just be patient. <laughs> yeah, we don't regard the present situation as, um, you know, is disadvantageous, except we'd like to get more money out. But we, we like the businesses we have. We like the businesses that we own part of. We are not reflecting in the way we look at earnings. The dividends we get from those partially owned companies uh, falls far short of what they're going to contribute, in our view, to Berkshire's overall earnings over time. We wouldn't own those stocks otherwise. And they, so. Uh, and you also like the Apple and airline stocks you've recently purchased better than the cash you parted with. Absolutely, yeah. And that's quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 